I really enjoyed the meal, and you can tell because uh, I stained up my sweater. Shit. I stained my pants. Uh, uh, not, not, not in that <laughs> way, guys. <laughs>
I'm just saying, I knew the internet was gonna take it the wrong way. Squash, Squash pupusa. pupusa. Calabeza. Dude, you know when the cheese is fried on the edges, that's when it's... In my research that I did on the internet, on Wikipedia, they said that this is the original form that from 2,000 years ago, oh, yeah. that they were stuffing it with this squash. Anytime I, I hear something from thousands of years ago, I'm like, I gotta try that. Yeah. I stand with the indigenous people of South yeah, America hey. because I, I heard that they're related to Asians. I heard the indigenous people, they got dry earwax. Hey, hey you, they turn red when they drink it, they got dry earwax. All right. So instead of corn, this is now the rice pupusa, okay? Oh my gosh, look at how much oil that is. This is the arroz. rice, arroz, but not rice inside. This is a rice pupusa. So instead of cornmeal, uh, it's rice. It's still packing a lot of heat. What's inside, Ooh. what's inside? I think I prefer the cornmeal one mm -hmm. more than the rice. Not saying that it don't taste good, but it's harder to eat. But the eatability is tough. I'm not saying the flavor is exactly Asian, but I mean, there's some Asian dishes that are exact, that are, that are not that unlike this one. Hey guys, here we have the espinaco, espinac, es, Bacaca? Espincaca. Espinchacha. Espinchacha. Espincaca. Espinchaca. What is it? Espincaca. It's time to stop. Espincaca con queso. Nope. Hey. Spinach and cheese. Light. I wouldn't say it's too crazy. Yeah, the spinach is like invisible. All right. Guys, here we have the, uh, I'm pretty excited about this one though. The pollo? The pollo, the chicken one, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a classic combination globally right now. Pollo and cheese. Chicken's pretty subtle. Yeah? Yeah, it's tough. I enjoyed the bite that I had, but I don't really taste the chicken. I think with every one that we move on to, the cheese gets more overpowering. Queso pupusa. Cheese. I don't know, after eating all the stuff with flavor in them, I feel like it's missing something. I like the simplicity. It let the yep. cheese shine. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, no. would you compare it to, in New York, most people just like the cheese slice. Oh yeah, the pizza. When I was younger, I used to say, why would people want a cheese slice? But as I got older, I learned to appreciate the simplicity and just letting the cheese shine on its own. Okay. And I feel like there's a similar property here. I agree to accept the disagreement out of the basis that I want harmony for the rest of this video. Hey, you know who likes beans too? <laughs> dude, my housemate, guy named Kev, he loves beans, dude. Like yo, do you need Kev to sub in for you? Or do you I'm Kev, can you sub in for now? I'm like, oh, yo, Kev! Kev! We got Kev, a special Kev, guest. Kev, yo, Kev, yo, Kev, yo, Kev, yo, move down, move yeah, yeah. down. Bean, bean and cheese. cheese. I'm rolling with this one over the regular cheese one. You gotta be kidding me. If you say anything different. Hold on, Kev, try one of the, the pure cheers ones and you tell me what you think, bro. Try, try cheers, you said cheese. pure cheers one. Dude, Kev, Kev, cheese. Kev's love cheese. It's facts, bro. Kev's gonna go with the cheese, bro. I actually kinda like a bean and cheese better. Yeah! That's cause he's wearing and a gray the, hoodie and the hoodies no, stay together. No, Nelson was incorrect saying I actually like beans a lot. I actually don't like beans. When I when I order something with beans, I actually get no beans. I thought so. you just get the fat stuff, so. Oh, yeah. hell oh, no. How exactly. dare you make some assumptions about his bean I consumption? I hate Salvador vegetable, vegetable pupusa with cheese. Oh, mm. Hey, what vegetables are in here? I can't even tell. Can you tell? Look at that. Zoom in on that. Unlike the spinach one, the espencaca, I actually taste the veggies on this one. <laughs> and I, by the way, I want to put a disclaimer. Sorry for the bad Spanish. Sorry, we trying. We just having fun. We trying. All right. We're not disrespecting. No right. habla espanol. espanol. Did you take Spanish? Say I something. Some, I say something. Say, save our video. Me llamo es Kevin. Yo hablo espanol. Nah, just kidding. Me no comprendo. Oh my <laughs> gosh. All right. Hey, tu es gordo. Tu es gordo. What's that? I saw gordo, bad. Gordo. This is the bistec ensabellado. All right, man. I, I think ensabellado, I believe, is referring to the sauce and like the stew that's surrounding the meat. So let's check this out. It has a great mixture of onions, tomatoes, some bell peppers. Mmm, I'm gonna get everything in a bite. Bee steak. Mmm, that's good. Does that not taste like it could be from a tatan tan? Mm-hmm. And tomato sauce? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beef tomato sauce. Well, I always knew mm. that Central America, Andrew, the closer you got to the Caribbean, Puerto Rican, Dominican food, uh, the more stewier things got, and almost similar to Cantonese food. Yeah. Would you say that sort of tastes like some sort of cooked two pie fan, lawson tong type thing. Hell yeah, yeah. I can tong, see man. it. Oh Eat my veggies, gosh, dude. look at this. Emerging from the sauce, we got the chicken. Boyo. I'm going with the chicken, man. Chicken is healthier, it's juicier. Man, this chicken's good. Let me get some of this rice though. I just really hate when you get eat chicken 
and it's super dry, but dude, this is just exploding with juices in your mouth. And oh, it's this is tasteful. delicious. Oh my gosh, the ensambayado is good. This is like one of the best things I've actually tried mm. during these fumbles foods that I've never had before. Try the smooth beans right there. Here's what I like about this dish also, and I like pupusas a lot, but I do enjoy after eating a bunch of pupusas, um, this is more stewy, it has less carbs, it has less of the cornmeal, less cheese. I was getting a little tired of the cheese a little bit, I gotta admit. Wow, look at that steak. Lofungo, the whole it. thing. Take the whole thing. Take the whole thing. Take the whole thing, Gordo. Damn. <laughs> David uh, Thick, I wouldn't be talking, boy. Oh. oh. You just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine. I don't know if that's Chicharron, bro. I no, this is the plat that's Platano's guan uh, guanaco. And this is often what they eat, obviously, in, you know, Dominicans eat it, Puerto Ricans eat it. It's a very Caribbean thing to eat. Plantains are like really ripe. Hey, bananas. you want a plantain, eh? Plantains. plantains. Grilled. Man, I'm a huge fan of Maduro's. I'm gonna try this with the sauce. Tostones. Uh, I'm a big fan of plantains. You guys want some sausage? Try that one. I'm a, a fan of the plantain, Yo, but it's not something I want to eat a lot of. I remember I, I was so caught off guard because, you know, guys, you know how for us, we consider plantains to be like a fruit. Yeah. Like a banana, right? Right. It bugged me out to see cultures use plantains as their carb. Yeah. It bugged me out, but actually, I do really enjoy it. I what the bloody hell yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, oh, I know. It's shit, interesting. Oh, shit, oh, so in my shit. fingers, guys. <laughs> Tell me why when I opened it up, I had the stupidest thought. That I was, thought, that was a thing. no, I thought they were grilled hamsters. All right, P.H.M. Taro, dog. No! Oh, and banana platanos. platanos. Mm. Oh, we brandical, Gav. Oh, we gooey. Too sweet for my liking. Oh, we brandical, Gav. Oh, we gooey. That was a big sweet. And then you know what? Sweet. You know, if it was gonna be pudding filled or something filled like this that is so soft, I wish that. Granted, maybe because it was in a container for too long, I like the outside to be a little crispier for more texture. This just feels like a gluey gob, but it's not bad tasting if you have a sweet tooth. But this is really sweet. Everybody leave in the comments below about Kev's opinions, dog. <laughs> I, I, need, I need get that critical Kev out of here. Second gen hey, kids. You know what the mob on his high <laughs> You know what the filling tastes like? It kind of tastes like orchata. Yeah, it does. Milky, it does. You're right. You're good. Pudding. You're good. It's a milky. You know, there, sweet there's pudding. a almost a slight cinnamon flavor. Yeah. yeah. First of all, I want you guys to know I really enjoyed the meal, and you can tell because uh, uh, I stained up my sweater. I stained my pants. Uh, uh, not, not, not in that <laughs> no, way, guys. Just, hey, you know, okay. okay. The takeaways hilarious. from all the different pupusas I tried, uh, I actually preferred the ones that did not have meat in there. I actually enjoyed these two plates with the beef and the chicken. The beef was really flavorful. It was just a little chewy, but the chicken was really juicy. You're talking about the tomato onion meat stews, right? Yes. So there's pros and cons to each one, but I'll, if I if if I ordered, you know me, I would just order a combo of both of them. <laughs> Okay, because you're going to. Uh, I felt like the squash one, I just had never had squash and cheese before. Yeah, yeah, maybe I had a squash pizza at one of those, you know, newfangled pizza spots at some point in my life, but I didn't remember it. Mm -hmm. Guys, I think, I think it's really cool, and this is a takeaway from doing like the Hispanic countries or the South American countries, we always try to speak a lot of Spanish. Yeah. And I think it's honestly, we, we, we do a terrible job, but we try, we are kind of trying. Um, as much fun as we're having with it. But I do think it goes to show you something, that when you're eating this food, because Spanish is such a large part of American culture, especially in SoCal, because we're pretty close to the border of a huge Spanish-speaking country, that we're all trying to speak Spanish as much yeah. as we can. I mean, this is the first time I have El Salvadorian food. Okay. And I've got to say that, you know, it's very tasty in a sense where they put the right condiments together well. Just like you said, like the, even though I'm not the biggest fan of bean and cheese, they make it just so smooth, so so well that you know it tastes really good. All right, this one I don't know. I think he threw in this tamale just with the order as a hookup because we were ordering so much. Is that potato chicken? Oh, this is the yuca. El Salvador, El Salvador tamale. tamale. Yuca. That's crazy. It like just melts in your mouth. Wow. That's crazy. It's very moist. It's sort of like you know how a lot of people have had Mexican food, but they haven't had El Salvador food. Mexico has 140 million people. El Salvador has six million people. That's, not a lot. That's like saying a lot of people haven't had like chill chow food, but they had like Chinese Canto food. food. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just goes to show you in these like blanket groups whether you're looking at them like Latino, Hispanic, you know, Spanish speakers like Mexicans and El Salvadors. There are so many like different breakdowns that you could go and niche it out. And um, I think that for me, it's like I want to explore them all. Respect to everybody. I know they're different. I know that they're similar. Shout out to them. I mean. 
big shout out to Kev for stopping by. Shout out to Nelson from Hoopin' Life, Andrew and David from the Fun Bros. Thank you so much for watching that El Salvadoran video of Fun Bros food um, with the Hot Pop Boys. Again, let us know in the comments below what other types of food you guys would like us to try because especially if it's Latin food, you know, they probably have it around LA. So, hey, we are in the small countries now. Oh, hey. yeah. Hey, six si. million? Si. Salvadoran, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. 